Hi, I'm here to walk you through the KPA EHS compliance calendar. This is a tool that's designed to make it easier for you to keep track of all your compliance deadlines through one spot, integrating KPA forms, equipment, training, all placing it all into one place so that it's easier for you to manage and to assign to relevant parties within your organization. So we're starting here from the main calendar view. I have the ability to view things for the day, the week, or the month. Um, you can also look through future weeks this way. In addition, you have a list view. So if I just want to see all of my events in a list, regardless of when they fall on the calendar view, I can find that here. And we can sort of get into what we sort of see on the calendar here. So on Monday today, I have a series of events that are going to be taking place. Um, these are action items. Anything with a blue bar on the left there suggests that it's an action item. If I just want to view action items only, I can uncheck everything else. And just my action items are there. I can do the same thing with the other with the other checkboxes as well. So for this particular action item, I can click into it and view a series of event details that I have put into the event and who is assigned. Going back to my calendar view. And I'll walk you through adding a new event here. So if I wanted to add something new, we're going to call this test event. Say that it is a OSHA item. There are a series of event tags on this list that are prefabricated, but you also are allowed to put in custom tags that make sense for your organization as well. Whether or not it is regulatory, so I will call this regulatory since it's associated with OSHA. Here is my event description. This is and whether it's an action item or a non-action item. I can choose whether every assignee completes the task or any assignee completes the task. This is to say if I have a group of people that are assigned to it, do I need every single one of them to complete the task or just specific individuals? For right now, I'm just going to leave it as every. It can choose whether it's a single day event, a multi day event, and select the due date. We're going to call this Wednesday, May 3rd. I can choose my alert date, how many days ahead of time I want to be notified. I'll say I just want one day. And whether or not it repeats, I can put in an estimated time of completion. This is an optional field, but I'm going to say it's going to take an hour. And I can attach KPA forms. So let's say it is a near miss report. I also can attach files from my computer directly here, but for now, I'm just going to leave it with just that near miss report form. Everything looks good. Scroll to the bottom, hit finish. And there's my test event right there on Wednesday. May 3rd. Other features that are important to be aware of, you do have the ability to filter. I can filter on a series of fields. There's a keyword search as well. And I can export my uh, list view into a spreadsheet to make it uh, to use it out outside of the product as well. And also, one last thing for more complicated events, which would be an example of that would be uh, this event that I put in earlier. It's assigned to multiple people, so I can see that there are six people assigned to this event. And as an admin, I am able to see people's progress. So this is something that regular employees aren't able to see, but administrative employees are able to track the progress of events and admins are notified once the event is complete.
this current event is just has one person assigned to it that has completed the event. And uh, I can look at this and say, oh, this is due today. I need to go back and notify my employees here that they need to um, go in and complete this task before it's due. So that is a high level overview of the compliance calendar. Thank you so much for your attention today. And please reach out to KPA support with any questions. Thank you.